Back in June, the Contreras fire threatened Kitt Peak National Observatory, putting the telescopes at risk. Now, it burned one dormitory and another small building. Scientists, though, are back to work now. Nine on your side's Tina Giuliano spoke with the team at the observatory about efforts to rebuild. The Kitt Peak Observatory is home to more than two dozen telescopes. This triangular building behind me was yeah. the like, Math Pier Solar Telescope, which was at one point in time the world's largest solar telescope. And it's also where many scientists come to work and some stay overnight. We generally have a crew of between, I'd say, about 30 people um, who come up here daily. Last year, the Contreras fire threatened the safety of the staff and the scopes. We spent those 36 hours frantically, basically, um, trying to cover as many optics as we could safely. It burned one dormitory and another small building. We had no line power as over 20 of the utility poles the, across the entire mountain were either damaged or destroyed. Since then, the Kitt Peak crew had to rebuild. And then once the site was deemed safe after about a month, our staff returned en masse to begin this process of cleaning all the sensitive equipment. And Kitt Peak and the Tahana Otum Utility Authority worked to restore those utility poles. Crews um, put them in place and then worked over the the intervening week uh, to get them um, firmly in the ground and then to string the wire. So and depending on how long it takes for the roads to be repaired, the crew is hoping to bring visitors this summer. We're hoping to start the reservation group in, within the next month or two. Um, and then the plan is to reopen to the general public with full access sometime this summer. They're going to turn the McMath Pierce Telescope into an outreach center with exhibits and more. To have some um, hands-on exhibits. We're also looking at a science on a sphere theater. Tina Giuliano, KGA 9 on your side.